Hello and welcome to all. In this video, we will learn about transaction code MMB. We use MMB transaction code for stock overview. But before we start, if you have not yet subscribed to our My Support Solutions YouTube channel, then click on the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you will get the latest updates after every new video upload. This is totally free. Please like and share this video. Share the knowledge. Sharing is caring. Now let us start. So in this video, we will learn about the transaction code MMBE. We use the transaction code MMBE for the purpose of stock overview. Now we will do the practicals. So in command box, I will put transaction code MMBE, press enter. Stock overview, company code, plant, storage location, batch. Now see, here we have to put our material in the column of material. Now in this transaction code, we can mention only one material code. We can select only one material code. Multiple selection is not possible in MMB transaction code at the material level. Okay, so this is our material code 100-100. Now here we have to mention our plant. Multiple selection in case of plant is possible. Let's say we have four plants, one plant in New York, one is Florida, Detroit and Chicago. So we have four plants and we want to check a stock position only for New York plant that is 1000 plant and Chicago that is 1100 plant. Now if we have not mentioned any plant code over here then report will get generated for all the plants or if we have mentioned here the plant code as 1000 to 1100 then what will happen then report will get generated for 1000 to 1100 means report will get generated for these two plants also that we don't require then in this case what we can do so now we will click on selection, multiple selection button. Here we can put our plant code. We want a report, we want a stock overview for 1000 plant and 1100, two plants. So we have to mention the required plants and click on the execute button. Now storage location, we will keep this field blank. Okay, because we want to generate a stock overview report for all the storage locations for these respective plants which we have mentioned in multiple selection. Okay, now in stock type selection, there is we can select or we can activate also select special talks. So it determines whether special stocks are included when stock data is being read. So if we activate this indicator, stock overview report includes the special stock like consignment stock, returnable transport packaging stock to customer, sales order stock, project stock or uh, the parts provided by the vendor Okay, or even RTP stock from vendor. So these are called as a special stocks. So if we activate this uh, option, then report will be generated, which includes special stocks also. Now second option also read stock commitments. Stock commitments includes, uh, for example, open purchase order quantities, stock in transfer, reservations, goods receipt, block stock, open deliveries, etc. So system will read commitments if we activate this indicator. Okay. Now in list displays, there is a special stock indicator. See, if we want to display only certain special stocks, if we want to display only certain special stocks, then we can select 
or we have to enter the indicator for the corresponding stock type so i will click on the find now see so these are special stocks indicator we can select any one of them if required okay right now i will not choose anything multiple selection is also possible now no zero stock lines so if this indicator is set no zero stock lines zero stock lines are not displayed in the report then decimal place as per unit so the stock values in the report are normally with or up to 3 decimal places if we activate this indicator we can display the report up to the decimal places defined for each unit of measure how we can define the decimal places see for that i will create a new session then i will show you how we can define our decimal places spro enter by default the decimal places are click on the img select sap netweaver general settings check units of measure execute let us say our unit of measure is each okay now i will show you how we can click on the units of measure units of measurement now let's say our uh, unit of measurement is each so select the line now double click now here in decimal places see if we click on the find the by default decimal place are 3 okay but here we can mention from 0 to 40 if we have not mention any decimal places that means system will generate the stock overview report up to 3 decimal places okay now see now i will click on the execute button now see report is generated for two plants that is 1000 and 1100 there are two groups first is selection and second is stock overview so selection group provides us the brief description about the material and stock overview provides the or list out the stock type with the quantities all these are stock types unrestricted use quality inspection reserved etc and these are the quantities okay so there are basically two groups first selection and second is stock overview now see what expand subtree if we click on the collapse again click on the expand subtree then the structure will get open now here we can check the print preview of the stock the stock overview report these are the different stock types unrestricted use quality inspection reserved etc so what is unrestricted use stock unrestricted use 
uh, in a simple terms we can say this is a good stock which we can sold out which we can sold okay this is a okay stock or good stock so see for this product code 100-100 we have total stock of 2085 quantity out of which 1085 is at 1000 plant and the balance 1000 is at 11 1100 plant okay now there are other different types also for example in on order stock there is a 231 quantity what is the on order stock on order stock basically see we have create a purchase order but we have not processed the goods receipt that is vendor has not dispatched the material to our plant so there is a 231 quantity is in on order stock how we can verify for that I will use a trans different transaction code. I will show you. First, I will click on the create new session. Use transaction code ME2N. Press enter. Purchasing documents per document number. Now here, our purchase number 1000 plant is also. No, I will uh, change the plant code because we have generated a report for two plants so here also I will select a click on the multiple selection okay now material I will mention material 100-100 and now click on the execute button so we can verify whether the system is uh, displaying the correct quantity or not in on order stock okay so from here we can verify the quantity of open order stock so all these are the quantity mentioned see still to be delivered one quantity still to be delivered five still to be delivered 15 likewise here still to be delivered 100 still. so all that quantity equals to 231 quantity that is on order stock there are other stock types also like consignment order, receipt reservation, etc. So this is how we can check a stock overview report in uh, transaction code MMB. That's all for now in this video. If you have any suggestions or queries regarding the topic, please feel free to comment. Thanks for watching. Keep in touch and bye-bye.